But I remember your special from the prison. Yeah. Then nobody got mad at you in the prison? Oh, that was different. That was a little <laughs> different. That was a little different. There might have been one or two. But I think in the end... It was but it doesn't one. matter. They're locked up. They can't no, get No, they're all... That's the other thing about it. I shot that eight years ago. Right? So they're out? <laughs> they start coming out. Yeah. Not everybody's they, a murderer. Some people are just in there for a little while. So there was a guy, and God, I might regret telling the story one day when he shows up, but <laughs> there was a guy, if you recall, early in the show, he had swastika tattoos and i made some joke about we're probably like, cutting in a clip of that right now if you're watching it on, on youtube then you know you've got a good crowd we have a clip here let's take a look that's where the white dudes hang out Sometimes. does anybody ever get offended by your tattoo anyway good luck with the rest of your stay in jail how many years 99 dude you should get six million years for every jew that died in the holocaust <laughs> This, man. <laughs> that look he gives you. And the, I, I said something to the effect of the war, the, the war is over, but that tattoo is permanent. And and you know everyone laughed at him. It was a, he was a little he was embarrassed. And I did a couple other lines about him, and I moved on. And it became a sort of a you know a, a viral moment and people mentioned it to me in the press and i think conan showed a clip and so uh last year i did get a dm from the guy because i recognized his face going i'm out motherfucker lol oh my god <laughs> explain to me where the lol comes in <laughs> i guess it's his way of not He's going laughing. back to jail <laughs> if, if he didn't put the lol i could have reported him but he probably would have broken his 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 parole but uh and then th there's another thing did you on. did you answer him no no i was oh. scared okay i was scared this is the answer right now telling this story Somehow his name is kenny answer. his name is kenny and now he does our commercials yeah. and he has a dog <laughs> kenny the odd, the odd of, of this <laughs> texas nazi listening to H howie and jackie's podcast is probably <laughs> probably slim but there is another thing going on with that show and i haven't talked about this at all but it came up right before New Year's where uh, the, I'm involved in a death penalty <gasps> case. What? Why? It stems from that show. Tell me. Um, I went a week early. This is Texas where they take their law enforcement very seriously. Seriously as I take my comedy. <laughs> and... You know, I had written a thousand jails and finally got one to let me come in. This is a special on Comedy Central called Jeff Ross Roast Criminals. And I'm there a week, so I get to know everybody because I wanted a method roast, like know everybody before the show. So I come in on Monday, I'm eating breakfast, I'm playing basketball, I'm eating lunch, I'm interviewing people. With the convicts? With, with the, in, the people that are in, in, incarcerated. And I learned that too. You know, over the course of it, I don't call them prisoners. I don't call them convicts. They're people that are in jail. I wanted to humanize them. I wanted to sort of understand them. I didn't want to prejudge. And most importantly, I didn't want to know what their crime was. If they wanted to tell me, they could tell me. So I don't know a murderer from a guy who didn't pay his, his parking tickets. And I walk into this one room, you know, it's full of, full of dudes probably 50 dudes in there. I don't know what their crimes are, but there's this table off to off in the back with two or three really scary, gigantic white supremacists. And sitting between them, almost like holding court, is a 19-year-old Asian kid. So the whole prison is white supremacists and like Mexican gangbangers with teardrop tattoos. And then this little scrawny kid and it wasn't my best moment, Howie, you know, comic to comic. I, I, I was like, what are you in for? Hacking a computer? And, you know, the guys <laughs> laugh. And the, this kid goes, oh, I hacked some. Ha hacking's the operative word. And I was like, huh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him a couple more minutes. I, it, it didn't really go anywhere. And uh, the next day, you know, or shortly after, that footage all gets subpoenaed into this kid's, I don't know why or what's going on. Turns out he hacked up a college professor um, in Texas, at Texas A&M. Um, killed him. Killed him. He wanted to see him die. He admitted it. 
and he badly wounded the guy's wife who was in a wheelchair. He was ruthless. And the when he was sentenced, they used the footage of him making that joke with me to show that he was unremorseful and gave him the death penalty. So his lawyers are, um, what's that word? Subpoenaing? Uh, no, uh, uh, appealing his death penalty convention to, to conviction to the Supreme Court. So now I'm waiting to find out if the Supreme Court's going to help this guy. Do you have an opinion on the death penalty? I do. So are you upset that you're depending? What's your opinion? Do you want to say it's it? It's a mixed message because this guy is what the death penalty is designed. You know what? I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold off because I don't want to further influence what happens. I'm, gonna, I'm not pro death penalty. I'm going to bite my tongue on this one, but I will say it's very unlikely the Supreme Court will. The good, the bad news is the Supreme Court probably won't help this guy. The good news is I'm performing at their Christmas party this December. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's my way out of it. Yeah.